Hello friends, let's install git on our local system today. And in this case, I am using Windows as host system. So for installing git, we will be using this URL and downloading git and then installing it. Let's do it one by one. Go to the browser, search for git download and it will take you to this link and this link is the link that I will paste in the video downside and then since we are uh, trying to install on Windows we will try to use Windows installer and uh, it detects what kind of architecture your CPU is and downloads it for you as we see it's downloaded now let's try to install it it will ask for the permissions you give the permission and it will open up the installer say next if you want to change the uh, path but i will keep it as default and i will also go with the default options here but you can uh, check and uh, uh, enable the daily updates for example or use a true crypt font it's up to you but i will go with the default installation and it is asking for the startup menu folder name i again go with the default here it is asking for the which editor do you want to use git as a default editor yeah so vim is an editor that is uh, mostly available on linux based system notepad plus plus is the editor i will go for because i have installed it on my local system that is also open source and you can find it uh, on uh, google so now it is asking for how do you want to adjust your path environment variable yeah so why it is asking because it wants to know from where you want to access the git from the command line from the git bash only or from the command line and also from the third party software so i will go with this option this is also the recommended one this is asking you for HTTPS transport backend which SSL or TLS library would you like git to use for HTTPS connection so I would recommend to use open SSL library So these, these are the options uh, Git is asking uh, at the time of installation. But uh, let me tell you, these options can be fine-tuned later also after the installation. So don't worry if, if you miss uh, some option or if you select some bad option here. It can be customized later. So here it is asking uh, uh, what type of check-in and check-out behavior you want to use with Git. So there are two types of uh, behavior. Uh, the person who is working on Linux system and the person who is working on Windows system use different line endings for the file. So that's why the first option is check out Windows style but commit in the Unix style. And second is check out as it is and commit Unix style line endings. So every time uh, the commit goes into the Git repository, it will be Unix style line endings. And the third one is check out as is and commit as is. I would recommend you to do this because it will not change your files when you check out and it will also not change your files when you check in. So this way you can control your line endings yourself and Git will not control it. This is about terminal, use min terminal, enable file system caching enable git credential manager enable symbolic links so 
What is symbolic links? I will cover in a separate video. But for now, just enable these two options. And it is installing Git on your local system. After this install is finished, let's check and verify if Git is really installed on your system and what is the version of Git. So as I said in my first video, Git is primarily and originally a command line tool. It's not a GUI tool. There is another tool which we will install in next video and use everything uh, provided from git via command via GUI but now we have finished installing git that is a command line tool yeah so it is installed let's go to the command prompt and try git minus minus version so if you find this command returning you something git version then it means git has been installed and your path has been adjusted so that windows command prompt knows where the git is installed we will see how to install git extensions that is a GUI tool which uses this command line tool and enable you to use every feature in GUI and not go to the terminal use. Happy Gitting and see you in the next video. If you like this video you know what to do subscribe and like see you bye bye